What do all these people? Fire Marshal. With princesses. Barzy and Ken. Hybrid. Cowboy. Great. Have in common. What are the rules of a cheese ball party? But the most important question of all is... Who wants to do some math? Who wants to do some math? Hey, who wants to do some math? Who wants to do some math? Hey, who wants to do some math? Who wants to do some math? Hey, who wants to do some math? Who wants to do some math? Hey! Greetings and calculations, my friends. Miss Oki here, and I am going to tell you about a math problem. If you have three jugs of cheese balls, and each jug of cheese balls contains 1,140 cheese balls, and you are going to share those cheese balls evenly among 18 bowls, how many cheese balls will each bowl hold? How can you do such a problem? It's too many numbers. It's true, it is a lot of numbers, but I think I have a way that we can figure it out. Welcome everyone to my cheese ball party. Wait, where are the guests? Welcome everyone to my cheese ball party. I love a good cheese ball party. It starts with the costume. Are you a firefighter? Yes, hello. I'm Fire Marshal, Marshal Fireman. So, your name is Fire Marshal, Marshal Fire. Yeah. Why is that weird? Hello. Hello, it is I, Wisteria the Witch, the most powerful witch this side of the 405 known throughout the entire San Fernando Valley and parts of Orange County. And who have we here? Our Royal Highnesses, Princess Jessica, Princess Luna, and Princess Poppy. Enchanté. Ahoy, Nakees! Where be the cheese ball? Ken and I are ready for some cheese balls. Running the world makes me hungry. I'm really into parties, except math parties. Ken thinks math is hard. Ah, ah. You're not gonna make us do math, right? <laughs> math? At a cheese ball party? We are totally gonna do math at this party. And they are gonna have so much fun, they're not even gonna know it. Greetings and calculations, everyone. I see that most of you have some amazing costumes. So like everyone knew this was a thing. And I'm sure that you all remembered this party is a BYOB. BYOB? Bring your own bowl, of course. Of course I brought my own bowl to the cheese ball party. Everyone knows there be two rules to the cheese ball party. Bring your own bowl and come in costume. <laughs> so like everyone knew this was a thing? Hi everyone, sorry I'm late. I brought pretzels. Pretzels? No pretzels. I guess there'd be three rules to the cheese ball party. Okay, everybody gather round. Come on in, let's put our bales on the table. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. Bring your bowls here, my princesses. Come on over. Everybody ready? <laughs> While everyone else was getting their balls out, this cowboy was able to sneak right back into the party. It looks like we have 18 bowls here, Miss Oki. And Ray, I brought an extra bowl. The fire Marshal is always prepared. Nice. And because I have the biggest bowl, I get the most cheese balls, right? Not how it works, Ray. <laughs> Each of these three jugs has 1,140 cheese balls in it. We are going to put an equal number of cheese balls into each ball. Okay. Yeah. He said okay. He said okay. What did he mean okay? I'm just glad everyone seems to forget about the pretzels. Yeah, be keeping your hands off my cheese ball treasure. This Ray guy totally brought down the party. Ray. I mean, Ken almost lost his cool. That's right, my cool. Okay. Oh, 
I almost lost it. Right. So, maybe I don't know anything about cheese ball parties. <coughs> and maybe I got a little excited. I am so sorry, everyone. It was an accident. It looks like this cheese ball party is over. I say we make him walk the play. Yeah, I'm good. I uh, everybody. Listen, Ray has apologized, so I think that we can forgive him. And I think that we can work together to fix this cheese ball party. Thanks, everyone. What should we do first? Well, let's start by fixing the bowls. But we only have two jugs of cheese balls. Good thing we have an all-powerful witch here. <coughs> yeah, I, I conjured more cheese balls. I'm that good. I feel like this party just got extra cool. I, I feel like our ship is finally coming into port. Can you all help me make a costume? Oh. Okay. Now, everyone has their bowls and their costume. Time to put the cheese balls in the bowls. Sure, I made a mess of things, but we got it cleaned up. Never felt more included. I look like an idiot, right? Yeah, but I feel included. Finally, all the bowls have an equal number of cheese balls. Now it's a party. And now, it's time to get back to our problem. Now, it's time for you to see if you can figure out how to solve this problem. And if you've already solved it, then stick around and help me check my work. But I'm going to give you a little time to think about it first, while I see how many cheese balls I can fit in my mouth in 30 seconds. Honestly, you guys, I thought it was going to be way more cheese balls than that. Uh, whatever. All right, so let's take a look again at our problem, right? We have three jugs of cheese balls, each with 1,140 cheese balls in it, and we want to split them among 18 bowls. That's a lot of numbers. All right, so let's think about it in steps, because sometimes when we want to solve a math problem, there is more than one step. So I have three jugs, right? Here's a jug, here's another jug, here is a third jug. Each one of them has 1,140 cheese balls in it, right? It's a lot of cheese balls. Okay, so when I have these three jugs, right, those are three equal groups of cheese balls. What is it when we have repeated equal groups or repeated addition, if you will, right? Because these cheese balls I want to put together. So, I'm putting all these cheese balls together, right? 1,140, 1,140, 1,140. I have that how many times? Yes, I have that three times. So that means I'm gonna solve this by doing 1,140 times three. Okay, so help me out here, please. Three times zero is, yes it is, it's zero. Three times four is, it is 12. Okay, the one goes where? Right? What goes here? Two goes here. And then I have to put my one somewhere. So I put it over here in the next place value, right? So these are my ones, tens, hundreds. Now I'm on three times one. That is three. Plus this extra one that I had to move over from the tens. 
right? That's right. Now I got four. Okay, and my last three times one is? Yes, it is. That is three. So, 3,420. Is that the answer to this problem? Every bowl is going to have 3,420 cheese balls in it? If you said I'm only far away there, you are correct. I haven't finished this problem yet. We have to finish it. So, this 3,420 is all the cheese balls that I have. I want to split them equally among 18 bowls. Hmm. Split them up equally. Take a giant group of something and make it into smaller groups that are all the same size. What is that? Yes, it is. And that is division, friends. So, I am dividing the number 3,420 by the number, yes, I am, 18, right? The 18 bowls, the 3,420 cheese balls that are gonna go into the 18 bowls, okay? Now, here's a little something I like to use to help me when I am trying to remember all the very, very, very many steps that I have to do when I want to do long division. So here we go. This is my family. Dad, mom, sister, cousin, what? Brother. And I'll tell you why I like the cousin in a few minutes, okay? So this helps me remember. Dad says divide. Mom says multiply. Sister says subtract. Cousin says compare. And brother says bring down. So I start here, right? I'm gonna start with the thousands place. So I have 3,000 cheese balls. If I was only doing the thousands, could I take three and split it into 18 groups? Let's say they were all stuck together like a big conglomeration of cheese balls. I can't, right? I can't put three of something into 18 groups. You're absolutely right. So I have to go ahead and include the next digit, right? So I'm gonna look at the three and the four and think of it as 34, right? It is, but what it is is 34 hundreds. Right? So if I have 3,400 cheese balls and I'm just doing the hundreds, can I split those into 18 groups? And those I can't, right? So now I have to think about how many, right? How many would go in each group if I made 18 groups out of 34, okay? Or 34 divided by 18 is what? So I'm gonna say, what about two, right? What if it was two in each bowl. So eight times two, yes it is, 16. Two times one is two, plus I have this one, right, from my 16. That's 36, but I only have 34. Can I use 36 if I only have 34? I cannot. So that means it's only gonna be one, right? 100 cheese balls in each of the 18 bowls, okay? I'm gonna leave them, get rid of that because I need more room, okay? So, that's dad, divide, right? Mom says, multiply 18 times one, that's 18, okay? Sister, that's right, she says subtract. So, 34 minus 18, right? Can't take away eight from four, come on now. Two, one, so 14 minus eight is, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, that's right, it's six. Two minus one is, that's right, it's one, okay? This is where cousin com says compare comes in, okay? If this number is bigger than this number, then I made a mistake, okay? But it's not, we didn't, we are rock stars, so here we go. We have our 16, we can't get the 18 into that, that's why it's brother's turn, right? Brother says, bring it on down. So we bring down the two, okay? This is where long division really gets you because I, I don't know how many 18s are in 162. So I have to kind of do some guessing, right? I have to try and figure it out. So I know it's not one. I also know it's not 10, right? Because I know that 18 times 10 is 180, right? You just stick that zero on the end, that's a good trick. Okay, so I have to guess a different number. It's not gonna be quite as much as 10. I'm gonna guess nine, right? I'm gonna see if nine would work. And the way that I'm gonna do that is by actually multiplying 18 times nine, okay? Okay, nine times eight is? 72. Where's my seven go? Goes up there. Nine times one is? Yes, it is. Then I have to add the seven, right? So I have nine times one is nine, plus my seven, 
gives me 16. What a beautiful number. Look at this beautiful number. Because look at this beautiful number. So easy, right? This has got to be the right number because it's exactly this number. Okay, so I put my nine up here, right? I already did my mom says multiply because I had to do it to try and figure out what the thing was going to be. So I did my mom says multiply. I'm ready for sister says subtract. Okay, so 162 minus 162. I had 162 cheese balls. I ate 162 cheese balls. I was left with no cheese balls. Anywho, that's a zero, right? Now, I have a zero here, right? Oh, for someone to compare, zero is definitely less than 18. A doy. So, I am going to bring down. Now, you might be tempted to say, oh, that's none of the zeros. Who cares about those zeros? I'm done. I'm going to go with this answer right here. Here's the problem. This nine is not nine, right? This nine is in the tens place. So when I have a nine that's in the tens place, what is that? That's right. A nine in the tens place is nine tens or 90. So to show that I know that this is a 90 and not just nine, I have to put this zero right here, right? Zero divided by 18 is zero. I put the zero up here. 18 times zero is zero. I subtract all these zeros. There's zeros for days. There's zeros everywhere. Hey, that looks like my hair. Okay, so this is my answer, right? Have I done all of the steps that I need to do to solve it now? Yes, I have. So in this problem, what is 190? Do I have 190 parties? With 190 guests at my party? Did those cheese balls cost $190? Hope not. Right? What is the 190? We were trying to figure out how many cheese balls will each bowl hold. Each bowl will hold 190 cheese balls. Woo! That was a lot of work. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope to see you again very soon. Please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down there, and I will see you next time. Oh, no costume, huh? Rock pretzels, huh?